Hi, I'm Cam Douglas, Director of Marketing for Optima Batteries, and we're here at the 2022 SEMA show. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the vehicles we have here on display. I also have with us some of the subject matter experts who have helped us build these vehicles, helped integrate Optima batteries as well as other really cool technology into not only the cars but some of the trailers that we're towing. So what you see here is an R1T Rivian truck. We have an R1S SUV. I'd like to start by just walking through and showing you what we did and who helped us accomplish that. BFG tires, uh, black rhino wheels, just over 35 inch tires. At DC, we manufactured steps that are also act as a rock guard, which is very important. The battery in, in this vehicle is underneath, and this rock guard helps not only get in the vehicle, but protection for the side. One of the really neat features is integrating the new Optima lithium battery in, into the truck. As Cam said, every EV has a 12 volt system that runs the alarm, the windows, and, and the radio, and things like that. We've integrated the new Optima Quad 30 batteries to display what, what these batteries can really do. Switch Pro's switching system that's switching all of our lights from the light bar to the rack light to our ditch lights on the A-pillar. We have obviously Baja Designs lights. We worked with Overland Rough Racks to manufacture a roof rack system. And then we make our way back to the bed rack systems. When we set out to build these Rivians, we knew we needed a couple things. We needed a bed rack to hold canopy and some gear. We needed a roof rack to hold more items. And we found that Overland Rough Racks was the go-to company. Yeah, one of the things we wanted to do when we first teamed up with uh, Optima and DC and Weistech finding how do we get a bed rack in the EV space that's compatible. And we came up with a baseline unit that works with here, super compatible with all, you know, the EV or the Overland accessories like the roto packs, like I said, the tents, grab handles. Agency 6 was a great partner in this as well with our accent colors. And the nice thing, it's extremely versatile here uh, on the EV space when you're coming into overlanding too. So that being said, uh, we'll move up to the roof rack. And again, same proprietary connection points up here. We have our lighting systems here that works with the Switch Pros. And again, our Agency 6 grab handles. We have Roam up here. And these are all the common items that you're gonna find when you're overlanding. So we said, how do we take that from you know, the gas world and bring that to the EV? And that's what we did. Fully integrated OE level connection point, compatible with today's accessories with all the mounting points, what have you. Uh, and this thing's ready to go. These vehicles are heavy from the start. There's a very large battery but then we're lifting them, we're adding weight uh, higher up, raising that center of gravity, and we've had really good luck with the row suspension combating that added weight. At Monroe Tennessee Suspension, one of the technologies I want to talk about today is our Kinetic H2 suspension system. And what's really unique about the system is that it's generally passive, meaning that it's doing these things at the same time. So if you're off-road, this vehicle, a vehicle would still be stable with the system on it to have roll control at the same time as suspension freedom. So these sort of things I think will be very important to electric vehicles because they have heavy batteries for one thing, but also when you go to the off-road mode, they're quite tall. And so you have very big demands for roll control and stability, which is difficult to accomplish by conventional methods. NCH2, I think, in this market has a really good value. One of the things of having an off-road vehicle that's electric is people have range anxiety. Once you get to the base of the hill, the base of the mountain, you set up camp, what are you going to do at that point? So we came up with an elegant solution for that. This is a trailer. It has a kitchen. You can camp out of it. It has hot water, but it's a little bit more than that. There's over 50 kilowatt hour of power by Volta power systems in this trailer. What that allows us to do is run a level two wall box EV charger and top off our Rivian for the day. It allows us to run our inductive stove, our electric hot water heater. We have 120 volt outlets around the vehicle to plug in ancillary items, Starlink, things like that. And we also have a buddy plug. So if you have an RV or someone else that needs up to 50 amps alongside you, uh, you can plug in 50 amps to 220 into that. I'll open this up. You can kind of get an idea of the form factor of the Volta battery pack that's making all this happen. The main control center for all of this is right here showing how many hours we have left. We have our Switch Pros that run all of the lighting and our inverter control. We also have an Optima lithium battery in here as well, uh, running the 12 volt system and lighting in this rig. What you're looking at here is the latest in advanced energy technology available to that small medium builder. So this is large format NMC. What does that mean? Well, that's the same way you talk about horsepower, but in the future. I know, how do you scale these? How do you tell, talk about them? Things that are different about Volta is our energy density. So when we talk about chemistry, NMC, our systems are the ones you see in the electric vehicles 
but we've made them so that they're low voltage. In this particular example, we got 52,000 watt hours of energy at uh, 51 volts. It's a lot. It's a lot. We've got 10,000 watts of uh, 240. Also pr produces 120 and 12 volts. So this allows them to run about anything you want. Same time, we've got a solar system on it. And all that's integrated into one system. So unlike where if you might see a lot of small um, lithium iron phosphate batteries that you might have to connect together yourself, this is all integrated for control and safety. You can see that they're steel lined. Inside them are solid modules that are all connected, all through one master BMS, through a control system, which then controls all the auxiliary. So this gives you the best in both scalability and power, flexibility, safety, and simple to install. And one of the features that I really like about it, when you look at, when you think of a battery, what's the voltage, where is it at, is it charged? It just comes down to really simple, there's a gas gauge, zero to full, zero to 100, it's on here as well, and it makes it easy to know how much power do I have left in the yeah. tank. Yeah, in today's world, as we're all adapting to learn what this technology means, you can get overloaded with all the new terms very quickly. And the reality is, is people want to know how long can I run? What does it take to run? And where am I at, full or empty? It doesn't need to be anything more challenging than that. There isn't a day that goes by where I don't get a question from somebody that says, you know, EVs are taking over the world. For one, I don't think EVs are gonna take over the world, but I think they're gonna be a wonderful addition. So Optima is the ultimate power source, whether it's an EV, or a gas-powered vehicle or diesel-powered vehicle. No matter what it is, what the technology is, Optima's here to power your passion.